Welcome back to 3 News First Edition on this Thursday. And as promised, we have Gregory Portland ISD Superintendent Dr. Michelle Cavazos with us this morning. Dr. Cavazos, thank you so much for being us, with us this morning on First Edition. We appreciate you being here with us. Let's get started with the questions. I know a lot of uh, parents have questions uh, regarding going back to school. Now, regarding online instruction, will Gregory Portland ISD use something similar to Canvas? Uh, the Canvas program like CCISD when it comes to curriculum and grading and attendance. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Thank, thank you so much for having me here this morning. Uh, so in regards to the online platform, the LMS that we're using is uh, through uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams. And then we use our Clever is our, our single sign-on platform with that, that allows our students access to all the different programs that we're offering. Uh, to teach the Texas essential knowledge and skills to follow the curriculum. Now, something that was asked, will teachers be um, teaching you know, real time or will it be pre-recorded so the students can go back and review? How is that going to work out? Mm -hmm. So for our students, there will be some that are direct where students are dialing in and watching their teachers live. And then there will be some classes that will be done asynchronously where they'll be recorded and students can access the lessons at a, another time that's more flexible for them. Another question that was asked was, is it going to be a full day right in front of the screen, for instance, from eight to three or from nine to four, or will there be breaks in between? How is that going to work out? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question and a great concern. It's hard to sit in front of a screen all day long. So no, students will have the opportunity to have breaks. Uh, for those with online, you know, there will be, there should be an expectation up through fifth grade of about three hours or so in front of the screen with additional time done independently or working on their projects or assignments. And then the students who are coming face to face, it is a regular uh, school day. Will Chromebooks be provided for those students that do not have a, a laptop or computer or a smart device? Yeah, as a, as a district, we have put in a significant um, investment so that we can go one-to-one -one for every single one of our students. And on, actually, our elementary schools are in the process of deploying those devices to every student. And so the reason we're issuing a district device to every student is that it's loaded with the software and, and links to the applications that we'll be using. And then it also allows us to be able to provide technical support to those devices um, should there be any problems or students have any difficulties accessing anything. Uh, we just felt it was very important to provide one for every student, regardless of whether they have uh, access to one at home. And then in addition, we are providing uh, Wi-Fi hotspots to those who need that access, who don't currently have that in their households. I'm glad that you mentioned the hotspot. I know that a lot of parents are confused about what that is. A lot of them aren't techie. They're not tech savvy. Uh, if you can explain a little bit more about what that is and where those are going to be located at. Yeah, so actually I am running off of one myself. So this is what it looks like. And it's just this little device that allows, um, it, it's a spot that has Wi-Fi and allows the devices to be connected to it uh, wirelessly and so it provides that access um, within the home at no cost to the family. Also will the parent, uh, will they need to purchase an insurance for their device? Will they be responsible for some form of insurance in case it breaks or it gets, gets, in case it gets stolen? No, we are not charging anything for our devices. We do, when the uh, devices are checked out or just having um, families sign an acceptable use policy and acknowledgement that they've received the device, um, but we are not charging anything for, uh, for them. Thank you so much for being with us this morning yet again as superintendent from Gregory Portland ISD, Dr. Michelle Cavazos. And we will continue asking her questions throughout the newscast. If you have a question for her, please text us at 361-855-6397.